talk about the best wheels for the new edge mustang now i might be a little bit biased um because if you look at my car you'll see what's on there but i think the uh sve 0304 uh cobra replica wheels are the best wheels for this car um they look absolutely amazing now the chrome is classic and I think it looks great with the uh, black combination, but um, these are deep dish in the back and flush in the front. And I think the stance is absolutely perfect. Um, the car's super dusty, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, there you have it. <clears throat> Now regarding exactly what is on the car, let me show you guys here. Um, so these are 17s. Um, they're wrapped in the uh, Toyo Proxy R888s, um, 245, 40 ZR17s. Um, so that's on the front there. On the back, these are also 17s, like I said, staggered setup. It's got the deep dish on there. Um, these are 315 35 ZR17s, and these are the Niddle NT05s. Now, if you guys have any recommendations on how to hook up in first gear, let me know because this car in first gear um, basically has zero traction, even though these are 315s back here. Uh, the other thing is the suspension setup. This car is set up on uh, strange adjustable coilovers. Um, suspension setup is pretty nice. I wouldn't go any lower than this just for drivability. Um, but probably has maybe like two and a half, three fingers on the front. Maybe like two and a half, three fingers. Let me just turn on the AC here real quick so I can uh, not die of a heat stroke. Um, but basically that is the setup on the 2001 Ford Mustang GT. Um, I think the stance is perfect. Um, the rims are beautiful. The chrome does get like super dirty um, and you can see the dust on there pretty quickly. <laughs> so you have to, uh, you know, keep them clean. Um, but it's not a big deal. You can literally wipe them down and they look shiny again. Um, I do have like a light uh, chrome uh, polish um, that I bought for these rims. I haven't used it yet, but um, I'm sure that'll restore any shine or any sort of dullness that it has on there. When I first bought this car, I had no idea what I was looking for in regards to stands or setup. I just knew I didn't like the uh, stock wheel and suspension height setup. So um, these cars get super modified by like everyone. Um, so I knew I could easily find one that was already modified with something that I liked. And I absolutely love this setup. Um, like I said, the chrome wheels get pretty dirty pretty quickly, but you can just wipe them down. Um, and it's crazy because wheels and tires are so expensive. Like if you're looking to completely change the look of your car, um, you know, wheels and tires are probably one of the first things to do, but it can get super expensive. Like uh, my F-150, I was looking for a wheel and tire setup with uh, some weld racing rims. And um, the package I was looking at was like, gonna be like three, four grand. And I was like, this is, this is insane. They're very expensive. 
Um, now, there's not a lot of F-150s with welds on them. So, um, I mean, I'm probably going to do it. It's going to look super nice. Um, but I, with the Mustang, a lot of these cars already have rims on them. Um, so I kind of wanted to look for one that had the rims already done and, you know, the suspension work. Um, so I got this car with the uh, SVE rims, uh, the tires, and the strange coilovers. Um, and I am not super mechanically inclined, so I was not going to do any suspension work myself on this car. Um, so I'm super glad that the suspension work was already done. Um, I actually haven't even adjusted the coilovers. I like the stance that it has right now. Um, but I actually have to look into how to adjust those coilovers, um, see if maybe we can get some better traction if we adjust the, the coilovers in the in the rear. Because uh, when you launch this car uh, from a dead stop, uh, first gear is like zero traction. Like it's you have to get into second gear to get any sort of traction, even with the super wide meaty tires in the back. So are these the best wheels for the new Edge Mustang? Um, I think the SVE chrome uh cobra wheels are absolute classic i mean they you know they're they were on the cobras i mean everyone likes the cobras but they look a semi factory stockish but i mean with the big uh deep dish wheels on the back like you can kind of tell like okay um it looks super clean i don't know i i personally it is very subjective but i think this is the best uh wheel setup for the new edge mustangs um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this wheel setup. Uh, would you go with something different? Um, and let me know what you think of the staggered setup with the deep dish in the back and flush in the front. Um, I think the staggered setup really sets it off nicely. It sets off the uh, curves of the of the new edge Mustang, especially the you know the the wide fenders on the back and stuff. Um, so I think the stance looks perfect. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you go with this wheel setup? Like I said, I think. It looks perfect. There are a couple of other uh, wheel setups that I think look amazing, but for the price, these are really hard to beat. Um, they have that kind of stock-ish Cobra look, um, which a lot of people really like. And um, I don't know, looks are subjective, but in regards to wheels, uh, I would say these are one of my favorite wheels for the uh, New Edge Mustangs. And they even look good on some older Mustangs as well. Um, you know, they just, I don't know, chrome, is just classic and Cobra wheels, you can't go wrong with that. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, maybe in the future, we'll swap them out for another uh, wheel setup. Uh, but for now, I think these are absolutely amazing. I have not gotten bored of them at all. And then uh, for the F-150, hopefully we can get a wheel set up for that soon. Um, the That car is, I, I don't know, the proportions are ridiculous because you need like 22 inch rims um, to actually fill the the, uh, the fender wells, the wheel wells. Um, and uh, I don't know, um, I was kind of thinking of going with like a smaller rim just to be unique, be different um, and lower the car. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I have not seen a lot of lowered four wheel drive F-150 with like, say like 17, 18 inch rims. I think it's gonna look super cool. Um, it's gonna be like, you know, drag uh, truck setup. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching the video. And uh, I hope you like the new Edge Mustang, the wheels, uh, the suspension setup. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.